we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Caught us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright oh, You and I, we got it doing this thing where it likes to randomly open and it's freaking me out but it knows whenever I'm leaving so it is open for me or about to get kidnapped and we'll see walk that in case this decides to open when I'm gone let's get the heck out of here before it decides to close on us Get me the out of sorry. Get me the heck out of here. Oh my gosh! Over that. All right. Stay closed. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I teach third grade in Central California and today is the first week back from Christmas break. So we're all just mentally trying to get back into gear. <laughs> but we are working on one of my favorite stories this week. We are studying expository text, main idea key detail, and my kiddos have all the questions. We are like mini scientists in here. We're astronomers. That's one of our vocabulary words. So we're learning about astronomy this week and just having a blast. And yeah, so we're gonna be working on that for reading and for math, we're on chapter four. So we're still learning about multiplication, specifically this week, the distributive property, which I like to call sharing the love. It is also a very difficult concept for them to grasp, but we're working on it. So that's my plan for the day. I'm gonna set you down so you can join along. Verbs. 
most. Not all because English is weird and there's always some that don't like to follow the rules. Okay? So, but for most, we add ed. Get your paper up, bud. Find the past tense verb in each sentence. Write it on the line. We're going to circle it. Okay? We're going to circle the past tense verb and then we'll write. What's the past tense verb? Yes. Yes, you are right. Walked. Ocean Park. Is that a common noun or a proper noun? Are there lots of parks called Ocean Park? No. No. And it's capital. So Ocean Park is a proper noun. It's a specific park. They didn't go to any park. They went to Ocean Park. That is a proper noun. I know. Mom, look for uh, what is our past tense verb? Yes. Mom looked. That's our verb and it's past tense. We have the ED. Good and right. Look. Okay, number eight. Ready all together? Go. She wants to build the castle. Okay. Okay, go ahead and do nine and ten on your own. I'm finished. Oh, oh my God. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh. I will identify the main idea and key details in an expository text. Love it. Who can tell me what we're doing today? Uh, we are today, we are identifying the, the main idea and key details and an expository text. Wonderful. We're under Jupiter. before we get our main idea. So we have key details. Okay, so we're learning about gas giants, but we're comparing it to Earth. If we compare Earth and the gas giants, how do they compare? Not so good. Because why? Basically made out of gas against a world with billions of people. Yes, they and then... And die and lose humanity forever. Yes, and then the size, what's the size comparison? Wow. You can fit 1,000 Earths into the biggest gas giant, Jupiter. Good, I love that. Yeah. Speaking of big, look in your story and find how big is Earth actually. It says that. Shine like the star that you are the giant sun. 
Okay, now you have to spin while traveling around the sun. Can you do that? Spin. Spin. Now you have to run around Teresa as she's running around the earth. This, this is like a big this, exercise. This is so worth it. Stop. Stop, freeze. It wants to be accurate. She has to be on her axis. She has to spin oh. on her side. <laughs> Good job. You guys are awesome. Have a seat. I am Jupiter. <laughs> and then there's big old Jupiter. Look like this. Zombies, Oh.